So dear students, welcome back to this computer engineering drawing. So topic is isometric projections. So we have seen so earlier a problem. So construction of the hexagonal pyramid. So over a square block. Okay. So now let us see how we can solve that problem using the SolidWorks software. So now as usual, you just draw one thin line here. So of zero point one thin thickness. So you just draw one more line, vertical line here. So I will convert this line to two line to continuous type here. Okay. Now, so let us trim this extra portion. So now, you first observe it is a square block of size seventy mm and thickness as ten mm. So let us construct what a square block. Let us first construct a square block. So distance is what it is a seven into eight point one six four, okay. So now height is two into eight point one six four, angle is ninety degree. So now we'll construct here. So seven into eight point one six four. So it is what a minus thirty degree. Now we'll construct. Let us convert again line type six. It is keeping earlier format as it is. Okay, now I will select line. I will go for continuous type. So zero point one three. So now let us go for again end point. So eight into sorry seven into eight point one six four. Angle is thirty degree. Now let us go for two into eight point one six four. Okay. So it is a ninety degree. So let us join here. Okay. So now copy this line. So move with copy option. So keep this as end point as a reference place over here. Similarly, select this one. Keep it as a reference point here. End point as a reference point. You place over here. So you just draw one more line here. Okay. So now this is what isometric projection of an square block. Okay. Now. So next is you need to go for construction of a hexagonal pyramid. So for that one, I will construct first a hexagon here. So its base is twenty mm, two into eight point one six four, angle is zero. Angle is zero. So I'll go for drawing the second edge again. It is eighteen two into eight point one six four. It is what a sixty degree. Next. So two into eight point one six four, it is about one twenty degree. So again, it is two into eight point one six four, angle is one eighty. So now it is two into eight point one six four, angle is two forty. Now we'll close. Okay. The thing is that. So now you need to draw a rectangle covering all corner points of the hexagon. Okay. So now we'll take line here. I'll go for extending these lines here. Similarly, I'll draw a line here. So you can go for tracking the points also. So if you just consider any one point, if you just move our cursor there, it is going to track that particular points. Okay, let us redraw it. Okay. Now trim unwanted portions. So you can follow any one way which is you are going to feel it as a easier. So now, if you just observe the dimension shapes, you are going to get a some standard dimensions here. 
So now the distance across the corners is the two times of the side of the base side. Okay, if we get here vertical dimension is normally one point five times of the side. Okay, so for hexagonal only, not for all cases. Okay, so we just observe here. Okay, thirty two point six six twenty eight point two eight. Now let us construct a rectangle. So okay, of a size. So now here we got a 32.66. It is to be placed at an angle of 30 degree. Next I will go here 28.28 at angle of 150, and I will come back here. So 32.66 at angle of minus 150, and I will close here. Okay. Now. So now we just go for a closer view. We just go for a closer view. So now take a dimension from this end point to this end point. It is eight point one six. You will get a same here. Eight point one six. You will get a midpoint here. Okay. So what I will do? Just I will go for drawing one line here along this direction. It is of eight point one six. Similarly, from this point, I will draw eight point one six minus one fifty. I'll just draw here. Okay, it is one fifty. Now I will extend it. I will extend here. Okay, so I think this got wrong. This angle is to be one fifty. This is got wrong. Okay, let us delete it. Redraw again. So if you are getting confusion about the lines here, so you can just change the color of a line. You can just change the color of the line here, so you can just easily identify the difference. Okay. Now here you are going to get an exactly midpoint here. You can just check out. Fourteen point one four. Now let us draw a line here from midpoint. This is about a midpoint. You just draw over midpoint. Okay. So now you just join all the reference corner points. What you got here? Let us go for construction of the hexagon. Now let us say this is about point one, point two, point three, four, five, six, and one. Right. So now let us identify its midpoint here. Let us identify its midpoint because this has to be kept collinear with the axis of the square block. Okay. Let us check who got whether right or wrong. Okay. So now once you done this one, so you can erase this uh, top view. You can erase this top view. Now let us take a line. So identify here center point. Okay. Now from the axis, what you got here axis. From here you draw a line, which is to be equal to the height of sixty mm. That is what six into eight point one six four. Okay. Now you got. Now you got here. Now let us convert this one to an axis type. Now let us join all the slant edges. Let us join all the slant edges. Okay. So now identify the hidden points as well as visible points. Identify hidden lines, hidden edges as well as visible edges. So now these edges are hidden here. Okay. So now let us move this entire drawing. Use move, turn off copy option. 
so we get a midpoint place over a midpoint okay now this completes your problem